Hey folks, how you diddling? This is our Samsung M3320ND banging away on our refills. And I don't want to boast. Oh, well, actually, I do want to boast. We have done 17,337 test prints, and now we're going to show you exactly how we did that. If you head on over to one of these sites that's selling this printer, you'll see that you'll be invited to sling your money at either a 3,000 page yield cartridge, or there's also this 5,000 page yield cartridge. But if you look closely at this what's in the box section, you'll also see that the new printer in fact arrives with a so-called starter cartridge. If you use our product, you can refill any one of these three cartridges and whichever one you do refill, it will come out as a 5,000 page yield. So one fine day, you'll notice that you've got this blinking orange light here. And when you do, ignore it. Then you'll notice that the orange light actually stops blinking and comes on permanently. And when it does, ignore that too and keep ignoring it forever. So ignore light and print, and ignore light and print, and ignore light and print, and keep printing until you find you've got some signs of this vertical fade out. And if we grab hold of a print from 10 pages later on, we find that that's getting progressively, progressively worse. And I must stress progressively. And if that's what you've got, then this is true tone of fade out. And that's what we're looking for. And now we're going to refill. So at this end of the cartridge, which you can tell by these four silvery colored contacts, we're interested in these one, two, three plastic rivets. And using a 5.5 millimeter drill bit, drill them all out so that they look like this. Then you can jemmy off this end plate thingamajig. And when that's off, there'll be no prizes for guessing that that dirty, great round orange thing is the toner plug. Then pop that out by sort of going under the lip, but don't shove the screwdriver right down the side of the plug. Give that bottle a little bit of the old shaking Stevens. Marry up all your gubbins in this flat position and then lean to the vertical and then the toner will be flowing in. Lean back down to a more horizontal position so that you don't make a ginormous mess when you disengage the toner bottle. And you'll probably need to shake, marry up and pour maybe three times. Now we're just rewinding what we did before. So it's plugged back in. You can clean up a bit as you go along here. End plate back on. Now you could glue it back on here where the rivets used to be, but we're not going to. We're just gonna put it carefully back in the machine because as long as it goes back in the machine in the right position, then the machine will hold it there. And yay and verily, I kid you not, a few moments later, we were printing out prints pretty much like this. And if we can just get a bit of a zoom on that, can we, cameraman? Zoom, zoom. Look like that. Close up, which I think is actually not too bad. Certainly a lot better than this and a lot better than paying this. So what do you do about that orange light then? Nothing. That's what you do about it. You practice the art of masterly inactivity forever, as far as we can see. And that was good for us for 17,337 test prints. But just in case the chipless refill proves to be not possible into the future, here's how we did change the chip. Although I must stress, at the moment, it doesn't seem to be necessary. So this is purely future proofing. <laughs> And 
bearing in mind that we didn't actually have to change the chip in order to get a successful refill, and we don't think you will either, this bottle and spout is all you need to get a successful refill of the Samsung M3320 series. On behalf of everyone here at U Refill Toner, it's been a hoot and a half making this video for you. Keep refilling in the free world. Thank you.